The guys at Lamb Sock have asked us to come up with some super easy and delicious recipes using lamb. This is our spiced lamb and veneer wrap. So what we've got is some awesome lamb skewers with paneer cheese, fantastic Indian spices, and putting a flatbread with a very, very fresh salad and mint yogurt. It's incredible. We're going to start with the flavours that are in the marinade. So tomato puree into a bowl along with garam masala. Now this is a blend of loads of Indian spices that have all been perfectly balanced, which means you don't have to keep five jars in your cupboard, just the one. So that's going in with the tomato puree and fennel seeds. And fennel seeds are incredible because they're still in seed form. You get a bit of a crunch, a bit of aniseed. That can go in with the zest of a lemon, some salt and pepper, and we'll mix it all up. Now, for some reason, whenever we film on location outside with Sorted, we never tend to do it in the months between, I don't know, May and August. We tend to do it in the months between, I don't know, cold and freezing, December and February. <laughs> oh, that smells incredible. And you want just enough oil added into it until it looks the same kind of consistency as if you were to buy a curry paste. So you kind of mm -hmm. know that kind of, something that will basically rub all around our lamb, which is where we're going next. And this is lamb neck fillet. Incredible cut of lamb. All we want to do is cut it into bite-sized chunks that you can skewer. And we're going to do exactly the same with our paneer cheese. Some Indian cheese that doesn't melt, which means we can cook it. And we're going to dice up some onion. Quit your moaning. <laughs> I'm Quit not moaning. your moaning. I'm happy. I've got thermals on underneath this. Me too. With all your lamb neck diced up and the paneer cheese roughly the same kind of size, you mix it with that paste that you've just made. Do you want this bit? Yep. <laughs> and then you can leave it for several hours or even overnight to marinate in the fridge. But to be honest with you, with lamb neck fillet, it's so tender. It's got so much marbled fat that we're going to go straight in because it doesn't need tenderizing. Which nope. is sometimes what a marinade can do. It just needs a flavour. It just needs a flavour, which is there. Now it's time to skewer up. We're going to alternate our lamb, our onion, and our paneer, and keep going until you reach the end of your skewer. And what you end up with are really, really meaty skewers. That is an entire portion in itself. And because you're alternating lamb and paneer cheese and onion, it makes it even more affordable. When buying lamb, you want to make sure that you're going to get the really good stuff. So look out for a quality mark such as the red tractor mark to ensure that you're getting the best stuff possible. Now the key to cooking these and making them really awesome is to get serious amounts of char. So we're preheating a cast iron grill, you can do it on a barbecue, or on a very hot grill, but, and this is where it gets a little bit geeky, just align all your square cheese, because you want flat edges in the pan so you get more char. It's important. They'll need a couple of minutes on each side, of which there are four, because they are square. And in the meantime, we can clear down all the raw lamb and make a quick salad. I'm just gonna heat my hands up as well. <laughs> Our salad is super simple as well. We're just going to finely slice up a white onion, some tomato, some cucumber, and we're going to toss that all together in a bowl with the juice of the lemon that we zested earlier and a pinch of salt. But the onion is very, very strong when it's raw, so just place it in a sieve over a bowl and pour a kettle over it. It's just enough to blanch it and take away the fiery heat, but you leave yourself with the onion flavour. Oh, son! Hello! Yeah, warm me! Not only is that lamb smelling incredible, it's also looking great. Look at the charring. You'll notice the paneer cheese yeah. it's not melting what? like a lot of cheeses. Why? It's a curd cheese that doesn't melt. If you can't get hold of paneer, you could use something like halloumi. Yep. Another cheese that doesn't melt, but you get a great kind of charred grilling flavour going on. Mozzarella's not so great for this, is it? Less good. Is it less good? <laughs> less good. We'll get these skewers out of here. They're oh. looking awesome. Yes. We'll give them just a minute or so to rest up. It lets the meat kind of relax. Don't forget the skewer is hot and it's still hot all the way through it. But we can use the hot pan to warm through our Indian flatbread. Use whatever you can get hold of, yep. either a naan, patty. We've got a paratha, so it's just going to go into there and just warm through. And we can pick some fresh coriander leaves for the final garnish. And then the yogurt. It's just plain natural yogurt, and we'll dribble it with fresh mint. Now, if you've spent this video wondering what a lamb sock is, it's not a sheepish way of keeping your feet warm. It's actually a great community of people who love lamb and want to find easy, delicious, and inspirational ways to use it in recipes. So make sure you head to their page and check them out. But for now, there we go. Look at that, a spiced lamb and paneer wrap. We finished it with lemon, mint, and yogurt. Ready to tuck into. Sorted. Why are you holding the bowl? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to put it in the bowl, and then I realized it's better to be held. I'll hold it. Sorted. Whether it's on a griddle or a barbecue or on a grill, you need that char. Because mm. charred lamb is the best smell and taste. If you want the full recipe for this, and I know that you do, 
head to Sorted Food, get all the ingredients, make it, eat it, enjoy it. Send us photos. Do you want lift home? There's only one seat up front. I'm in the trailer, am I? <laughs>